Welcome back everyone to video number five of the Excel Beginners Tutorial. My name is Shane and I apologize for my hiatus. Uh, I have been gone for a couple of years now, almost three, and I'm back in the saddle hopefully to get these things going again. I uh, appreciate y'all's comments and the subscriptions. Always great to see that and let's continue where we left off. Uh, in our last video we talked about determining what our paycheck was and we used a formula uh, called absolute cell reference. Um, and if you notice in the formula bar up here at the top, you can see our formula. I've clicked on cell, oops, excuse me here, clicked on cell B28, and in that cell is a formula that says, let's take B18 and multiply it times A28. But notice that we have a funny symbol in front of the row 18. That dollar sign right there tells us that this is an absolute cell reference. When you see the dollar sign, think of a lock, like as in a lock and a key. I am locking to row 18. So anytime you see a, set, um, a dollar sign, um, that means I'm locking to that row, and that's what we wanted. We wanted to be able to copy this down, and our formula stay the same. By pressing the F2 key, you can see our formula, and it shows you in blue up here, in red, uh, that's what we're multiplying together. So again, the cell reference, the, the absolute cell reference is the dollar sign. And you can use that by pressing the F4 key. Notice I'm toggling. I highlighted B18, and now I'm toggling through the multiple settings uh, of absolute. And again, I want to lock just row 18. That's the only thing I want to lock. So I'm going to press it once and twice. There we go. And press Enter, and that's our formula. Now, what is this? Again, we're trying to determine our paycheck based on 45 hours per week. And remember, any time, at least here uh, in my state, any time over 40 hours is paid at time and a half. Well, we've already determined 45 hours times $25 an hour equals 11.25. So that's our regular pay. So I'm going to come out here to the right, and I'm just going to make some notes. This may help you understand this big formula because it's going to be fairly large when we're finished here. I'm going to say regular pay is my, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say this equals this cell because uh, it, that's what I want it to equal. Uh, now let's say, well, okay, I need to determine how many, oh, excuse me, I need to determine how many hours of overtime I worked. So I'm going to say OT hours. And let's create a formula here. Let's say equals our total number of hours minus 40 hours. That gives us our overtime hours. So you say, okay, well, I need to take my overtime hours and multiply that times half my hourly wage. So again, let's create another formula. I'm going to say equals, and I'm going to go up here and press, click on hourly wage. And again, because I want to stay locked to that row, I'm going to press the F4 key until I have my dollar sign just right beside 18. There we go. And now I want to divide that by 2 because we're, we're paid time and a half. And this is the half part of an overtime rate. So I'm going to press Enter. And then on top of that, I want to multiply that times our number of overtime hours, which is that cell. So we're taking our hourly wage, dividing it by two, and then multiplying that result times our overtime hours, which happens to be in cell D29. We'll press enter, and that tells us that we earned $62.50 in overtime. So then we take, we, we plug in another formula, and we'll say, okay, this equals our overtime dollars plus our regular pay dollars, and we'll press enter, and that gives us a total of 1187.50. That is how much our paycheck would be based on 45 hours. So, um, I want to go ahead and hard code this. And by hard coding, what I mean is I'm going to replace 1125 with the actual number. Uh, if you notice up here, I have my formula that says equals B29. Well, I want to just hard code this to 125 or 1125. So I'm just going to type it in 1125. Now I can come over here and I can erase this. Oops, excuse me. I can erase this 
original formula and we can rebuild it. So now what we want to do is, you know, this is cool and everything. We got our, we got a result, but it's kind of ugly. It's, it's spread out across four different columns. We should be able to contain this whole formula in this one cell right here located at B29. How do we do that? Well, it's pretty easy. We've already done the hard work. Um, first of all, let's go ahead and drag down this formula. This gives us our regular pay. Now I'm going to press the F2 key and watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put in some, what I call parentheses. And what parentheses does is it kind of just tells Excel, okay, I want you to group these calculations together and perform these together. So what we're saying is let's do these, this first multiplications to first. Then I'm going to put a plus sign in here, and then I want to say, okay, I've got my regular pay. Now I need to determine my overtime hours. Well, to do that, I'm going to click on the hours per week, and I'm going to subtract 40 from that, and I'm going to close parentheses that. Okay, that'll give us our overtime hours for that week. Now, I want to multiply my hours, and to do that, I'm going to hit the the asterisk, that's the multiplication symbol in Excel. And I want to multiply that times um, my hourly rate. And again, I'm using more parentheses. Click there. And again, I want to use absolute cell references for row 18. So I lock it. So F4 twice. Okay. Now I want to divide that number by 2. Because it's time and a half. And guess what? It looks like we're done. All I got to do is press enter and let's hope I get the same number and beautiful. I do 1187.5 equals the same number out here. That's beautiful. I can now get rid of these miscellaneous cells. I no longer need. And guess what? Because we're using absolute cell references, we can now drag this number, this formula down using our auto fill handle and all the way down to 60. And we get our results for our paycheck based on these hours. Guys, thank you for your time today. Um, if you have noticed, uh, I have upgraded my version of Excel to Office 2013. So that's why it may look a little bit different. But I promise you everything that I've shown you thus far through these five videos will work in this new version. So thanks for watching and there will be more videos coming very soon.